guys, welcome back to my channel. So, if you're wondering why my hair is all messed up and I'm in like this comfy sweater, it is because I just got back from the drugstore not too long ago and I just could not wait to film a haul for you guys. So, that is what I'm filming right now. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I went to Walgreens and literally I went and going to Walgreens thinking I was gonna find like just a few things, you know, nothing crazy. I walk out with a receipt. That is long. I cannot believe I found almost everything new at the at Walgreens. Literally, I was going in and the girl was stocking the shelves and I was like taking things left and right, like rows and rows because I wanted to do swatch videos. I'm sorry to her. I told her that I vlogged about that kind of stuff, so that's why I was taking it all. But I felt so bad because literally she was putting it out and I was like, clearing her out. This is for you guys. I hope you're excited. Drugstore makeup is like one of the most exciting things to me just because it's so accessible, it's affordable, and it's just fun to try out. I hope you guys are excited to see everything that I found. I can't wait to do like wear tests for you, swatches, just different dedicated videos on these products. Lots of drugstore coming to you. I don't know about you guys, but those are my favorites. Okay, so we're gonna start with the big bag first. Have a table here. That's gonna assist me. Let's just talk about the fact that Wet n Wild, I fall full display. I fall. See, I can't even talk. I'm so excited. Right when I walked in, the first display that I saw was Wet n Wild, and I love Wet n Wild. I think they have lots of great products. So I'll put a picture right here that I posted on Snapchat, and I was like, Jack freaking hot. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I got. Um, these things are gonna be in order because it's all shuffled. I just threw things into a basket, and she threw them in the bag. First thing I got was this Wet n Wild Lash Grenade Multi-Dimensional Mascara in Brazen Black. It just looked really cool. It looked very promising, so I wanted to test this out. Next up are some sponges. I've seen these online. I've been very, very excited to try them out, so I cannot wait to let you know what I think. But these three sponges are by L'Oreal. And we have the Conceal Blender, the Foundation Blender, and then also the Contour Blender. So these look awesome. They look promising. They're very pretty. And I love the packaging. So thumbs up to L'Oreal for a first impression. Even if you didn't know that these were out, this like just draws you in, doesn't it? It just looks so pretty. Next up, we have this L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Conceal Palette. This is like a conceal and contour palette. I got the shade 220. And I just thought this was super cool. It has different shades in here. So as you guys know, I do self tan. Thought this would be great for me, my under eyes, and like to contour if I wanted to. Now this obviously got me because it says matte. You had me at matte. This is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Matte Finishing Powder, and it's for light to medium. It says it's a new look, so I don't know if this is like that blue line that CoverGirl had. But I can't wait to try this out. I kind of like this packaging better. Oh, this looks so beautiful. It is this palette right here. This is the True Naked Jewels. It says, looks designed by Pat McGrath, which that is super cool. Because if you guys know, Pat McGrath does have a line in Sephora. It is pretty expensive, and this is a more affordable option. Just a bunch of different tutorials you could do back here. And I think this is just so pretty, and I can't wait to try it out. I don't know if this is brand new. I feel like it is. That looks pretty promising. So that's the green, this blue, this one, ooh, okay. I have another little L'Oreal kit, this is the correcting one. So you have the different tones, you have the one that does the dark circles, combats discoloration, neutralizes redness, and then brightens, which is the lavender. It does come with a little sponge, as does the other one. In case you were wondering, I got some more of my favorite deodorant, the Secret Clinical Strength Ooh La La Lavender. I prefer... A non antiperspirant deodorant, but uh, you know, I stink if I don't get that. And then I also got some toothpaste because you can never go wrong with some toothpaste. I use Colgate, I love Colgate, I've been using them for I don't even know how long. Moving on to CoverGirl again, this wand just looks so cool. It's the CoverGirl So Lashy Blast Pro Mascara. It says a lash finder, bold, sexy lashes for all lash types. Got the color, oh shit, I got waterproof. It'll be alright. Got the color Extreme Black. Again, the packaging. So nice. Also, another product from Wet n Wild that is new. It is the Dual Ended Contour Stick. I got this shade Light Medium. Hopefully, this will be dark enough for me. I'm more light. Like, I'll self-tan, but I let it fade off for about a week until I reapply. So, I wanted something in between there that I could try out. I figured this would be a good set to try. I think I'm going to do a whole Wet n Wild test it out video for you guys. Because they had a full-on display. 
Look, got another Colgate. Next up, we have another L'Oreal product. It is the Brow Stylist Frame and Set. I got the shade Light Brunette. This just looked really promising. I can't wait to try it out. I love brow pomade. I love it when I see the drugstore come out with a brow pomade. I often see that they come out with, you know, the brow pencils. I'm not a big fan of them. I like pomades, so I had to give that one a try. CoverGirl also came out with this Outlast All Day Soft Touch Concealer. I got the shade Light Medium. Kind of the same package as the powder. Next up, we have this Revlon Blush in Tickled Pink. They had a ton of different blushes, but this one drew my attention. I didn't really want to buy all of them um, because sometimes I'm not a big fan of Revlon. <laughs> Uh, I'm just sometimes Revlon doesn't impress me, but this blush looked really pretty. It looked like something I could wear every day. Does have some shimmer in it, but we'll see how it goes. And they're saying that this is a new shade, so I cannot wait to test this out. It's a little bit darker than how it's coming off on camera. Then I got two shades. You guys have been wanting me to try this for a minute. L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Full Coverage Weightless Feel Foundation. It's a 24 hour foundation, which is a hell of a claim. I got the shade 305 and 308. Uh, I'm not too sure what shade I'm going to be, again, because they do self tan, but hopefully I'll be in between these, mix them together, or I'll be one of them. I did try out these new NYX Total Coverage Foundations, and I did not like them. If you want a full video on why I do not like this product, please let me know in the comments. I was very disappointed because I was so excited about this product. Now we have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and this is in the shade Cream Beige. It says it was tested in under 7 light conditions with top smartphone models with and without flash and it says goodbye photo flashback. Supposedly you're not supposed to have flashback with this. I believe I got another shade of this as well just because I fluctuate so very excited to try this out. Love the bottle. It's a glass bottle. Very luxurious. Jordana came out with a ton of different stuff and I decided to pick up two of these products from their contour line. So I have the Jordana Sculpt and Go Creamy Contour Stick in the shade Medium. Also the Jordana Glow and Go Creamy Strobing Stick. These just looked so stinking pretty and I just wanted to test them out. They're giving me, who had this? Who had this kind of packaging? Was it Revlon? I think Revlon had this kind of packaging for contour. Then I also picked up the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Shape and Define Brow Mascara. And I got the shade Golden Blonde because this reminded me of my Anastasia Brow Gel in Brunette. So hopefully this is going to be kind of the same thing where it lightens the brows, adds like little highlights to make them look more natural. Also from Wet n Wild, I did get this Photo Focus Pressed Powder in the shade Neutral Buff. And again, this says it does not have any flashback, anything like that. It has the same claims as the foundation, so we will definitely test both of those. Let's just talk about the damn liquid lipstick craze that is going on right now. Jordana came out with so many liquid lipsticks. I'm talking a shade for absolutely anyone. I'm pretty sure this is all of them. If not, there's probably some roaming throughout the other bags that I have. Those are some of the shades right there. I want to do a full swatch and wear test video on these and also the ones I'm about to show you up next. So I got all of the colors just so we could test them all out and see what colors are worth you purchasing. Then Wet n Wild also dropped a liquid lipstick. This is the Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick. I think a couple of these shades have been out before but I have not been able to test them out. But again, holy colors. They have so many shades. They have a shade for literally everyone. Here are the, some of the colors. Very, very pretty. Cannot wait to test these out for you guys. I also did get another contour stick from Jordana in the shade Deep just to see if medium or deep would work best for my skin tone. On to our last bag. If you purchase any Wet n Wild, definitely try to check out a coupon. You can save a dollar on this foundation. And they have some shades back here to kind of help you find your perfect shade. Again, I got another one of those foundations in the shade Desert Beige. And then they, I saw online where they came out with these cushion products and I was just so intrigued and could not wait to try them out because this is the coolest packaging ever so you have a cushion contour and a cushion highlighter and these just look so cool don't they like they look awesome saw that Wet n Wild had some new highlighters I'm pretty sure these are new I have not seen these before I know they came out with some of these highlighters but I'm pretty sure that they were other colors I think these are new shades so it says new one is in the shade precious petals and the other one is in crown of my canopy here we go, all of our highlighting dreams coming true at the drugstore, you guys. We have some more Jordana Wet n Wild, Jordana, 
Jordana liquid lipstick. Wow, that's a pretty color. Ooh, so is this one. I also picked up two of these Maybelline Baby Lips Color Balms. And they're basically just a moisturizing oil, I guess like a just a balm that has oils in it to moisturize your lips. So that's one of the shades. This one's the shade Toasted Taupe. I think I'm going to put this on right now. Ooh. That's what it looks like. Little nude. Very pigmented. More pigmented than I expected. Mmm, they smell good. Okay, that's a little too nude. Okay. They remind me of something. I just can't put my finger on it. Like, it smells like a product I've tried from the drugstore and I really liked. It just gives me beach vibes. So I have two of these Wet n Wild makeup sticks and they're both in Conceal. And this is the shade 808 and this is 809. They had a ton of different sticks out. You can go check them out at your local Walgreens or whatever. But I just picked up these two shades to try as concealers and just to see how they work. I picked up this mascara because I thought it would be great for the lower lash line. It's the Wet n Wild Get the Skinny Every Lash. Perfect for lower lash line. You know, I didn't even read that perfect for lower lash line. I just thought it would be. So it's a super skinny mascara. That's what it looks like, and again, I bet it's gonna be bomb. So, came out with another eyeshadow palette. This is the O Natural Nude Awakening palette. I mean, look at those colors. The back has again little mini tutorials on it. And they also have a new concealer. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, again, with that claim of not gonna give you flashback. It says it's been tested under clear blue sunlit sky, outdoors in the PM, indoors PM, electronic flash, for less than light, bathroom light, nightclub light, nightclub light. Hey. Also, they had a ton of different colors of the gel lip liners, but I got this one because this looks like more my color. It's in the shade Plum Together. It says it's their first gel lip liner. Our first of its kind gel lip liner is specifically formulated with the gel complex to deliver innovation with the ultimate performance and comfort. Seamless, flawless application, no tugging and no dragging, and it delivers never-ending color. Can't wait to test that out. And this one says bear to comment, so I did get one more. I lied. And then I did get the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Balm in the shade Tell. It says it's a smooth application, lasting moisture, sheer and glossy. That's what it looks like. It's like an orange tint. Okay. Very glossy. Doesn't really have a scent, which I kind of enjoy. Then the last thing that I got is this Mega Cushion Soft Matte Lip Cream, which is so dope. I think they have multiple colors, but I got the shade Melon Like It Is. And it looks very, very pretty. Kind of just right up my alley. So, I mean, this packaging is just adorable. So that is everything I got from the drugstore. I will definitely be doing a full Wet n Wild video. Just of all the stuff that I got from them. I'll be testing them out, letting you know what you should try out and what's good, you know what I mean? So, Wet n Wild is coming soon. The Jordana liquid lipsticks. I'm also going to do a video separately with the Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks since there are so many. I'm going to do a swatch video. We're going to do a wear test and see how they work. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you were excited about all this makeup as I am. I cannot wait to share my thoughts with you. I can't wait to try all these out. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell before you leave so you get notified each time I upload a new video. And I'll see you all in my next one.